Hello there and welcome to this tutorial video and on this video I'll be showing you how to um, manually launch Shadowplug and if you're having the, the problem of if you have pulled up NVIDIA GeForce Experience and you want to record something with Shadowplay and you want to pull up the, the Shadowplay window so you go to GeForce Experience and in the top right corner there is not a button to launch Shadowplay and there are a few ways that I, I know that can possibly fix it sometimes just restarting your computer will work sometimes uh, GeForce Experience hasn't closed completely and you can go into Task Manager and close it all the way and then reopen it and try that. You can try to roll back drivers or install a newer version. But in this video, the problem mainly, well, my problem and the fix, the problem comes, well, this problem, there are a number of, number of problems why the Shadow Play button doesn't appear. But this problem is from not being connected to the internet. So you're not connected, no connections are available. And when you're not connected to the internet, uh, it doesn't appear. And that, that's on purpose. Um, I, think, I think it's mainly to verify what uh, card you have. And if, if it supports that, maybe. I, I, know, I know you have to be connected to the internet. And um, all you have to do is if the Shadow Play button doesn't show up, Go into your installed uh, drive, go to x86, go down to NVIDIA, where's that? NVIDIA Corporation, NVIDIA GeForce Experience, and come down here to the GeForce Experience.exe. It won't have this slash shadow play in it. So, what you can do is you can just click on it, rename it. And after GeForce Experience, put in the slash, no spaces, just the slash shadow play. And then now once you click it, it will only launch shadow play. And th this can this can also be used for when you're also when when you're connected to the internet for a quicker way to launch uh, shadow play. I know I'm probably gonna keep it this way from now on. Um it kind of just removes a couple steps, opening up uh, GeForce Experience and then opening up Shadowplay. Now I can just click on my icon. Well, I already have Shadowplay on and it's recording, uh, so I'm not going to launch it again. But now I can just click it and it launches it and I'm ready. And so that can fix the, uh, the no Shadowplay button. And it gives you a manual way to launch Shadowplay.